This is a clip from Bill Nye's debate with Ken Ham, which as you can see is right there. This video is titled, Bill Nye Destroys Noah's Ark. It's uploaded by TDC, who has 938,000 subscribers, and it was uploaded seven years ago on February 7th, 2014. I'm going to watch it and see if Bill Nye did actually destroy Noah's Ark, or, or if this TDC person has given his or her video a misleading title. Ham and his followers have this remarkable view of uh, a worldwide flood that somehow... Yes, they do. Continue. ...influenced everything that we observe in nature. A 500-foot wooden boat, eight zookeepers for... 14,000 individuals. You just made that up. 14,000 individual animals. Every land plant in the world underwater for a full year. I ask us all, is that really reasonable? You'll hear a lot about the Grand Canyon, I imagine, also, which is a remarkable place. And it has fossils. And the fossils in the Grand Canyon are found in layers. There is not a single place in the Grand Canyon where the fossils of one type of animal cross over into the fossils of another. In other words... Well, that does happen on other places in the world, but even if it didn't, that wouldn't really be inconsistent. When there was a big flood on the earth, you would expect drowning animals to swim up to a higher level, not... No, as the model explains, the came down on them, and if you're being hit in the face with it's a hundred thousands of pounds of cinnamon, you aren't going to be swimming up. Any one of them did. Not a... That's not true, and also, even if it was true, it wouldn't be inconsistent. Single one. If you could find evidence of that, my friends, you could change the world. No one. one of the extraordinary claims associated with uh, Mr. Ham's worldview is so that... So far, one minute in, and no destroying has been done. This uh, giant boat, very large wooden ship, went aground safely on a mountain in the Middle East, what we now call the Middle East. And so places like Australia are populated then by animals who somehow managed to get from the Middle East all the way to Australia in the last 4,000 years. Now that to me is an extraordinary claim. We would expect then somewhere between the Middle East and Australia, we would expect to find evidence of kangaroos. We would expect to find uh, some fossils, some bones in the last 4,000 years. Somebody Do you even know how fossilization works? He would have been hopping along there and died along the way, and we'd find him. And furthermore, there's a claim that there was a land bridge that allowed these animals to get from Asia all the way to the continent of Australia, and that land bridge has disappeared. Has disappeared in the last 4,000 years. No navigator, no diver, no U.S. Navy submarine. No one's ever detected any evidence of this, let alone any fossils of kangaroos. So your expectation is not met. It doesn't seem to hold up. Another uh, remarkable thing I'd like everybody to consider. A long oh, also, can't land bridges just melt? Because, you know, there are things that melt and animals can walk on those things. Well, inherent in this worldview is that somehow Noah and his family were able to build a wooden ship that would house 14,000 individuals. There are 7,000 kinds. No, that's false. And then you just pulled that number out of nowhere. And every, there's a boy and a girl for each one of those. So it's about 14,008 people. No. And these people were unskilled. You're just pulling that out of thin air. As far as anybody knows, they were never built a wooden ship before. Furthermore, they had to get all these animals on there, and they had to feed them, and I understand that Mr. Ham has some explanations for that, which I frankly find extraordinary, but uh, uh, this is the premise of the bit. And we can then run a test, a scientific test. People in the early 1900s built an extraordinary large wooden ship, the Wyoming. It was a six-masted schooner, the largest one ever built. It had a motor on it for winching cables and stuff. 
But this boat had uh, a great difficulty. It was uh, not as big as the Titanic, but it was a very long ship. It would twist in the sea. It would twist. Notice that this part does. Notice that TLC doesn't include any part of Ham's rebuttal for some reason. And Ham mentions that I think around Egypt or China they found boats that had like three layers to prevent twisting and also the Wyoming was in operative was in operation for more than a decade. This way, this way, and this way. And, and in all that twisting, it leaked. Decade. It leaked like crazy. The crew could not keep the ship dry. And indeed, it eventually foundered and sank, a uh, loss of all 14 hands. Yeah, it eventually foundered and sank over a decade after it began operations. Hands. So there were 14 crewmen aboard a ship built by very, very skilled shipwrights in New England. These guys were the best in the world at wooden shipbuilding. And they couldn't build a boat as big as the Ark. Twisted 14 crewmen in the biggest actual wooden sh ship, supposedly, there. Built by skilled shipwrights, twisted apart in heavy seas more than a decade after after operating for more around a decade and a half. half around 7,000 passengers built by... Seriously, it's just pulling. Renegrant. Is claimed to have been. Is that reasonable? Is that possible? That the best shipbuilders in the world couldn't do what uh, eight unskilled people. Again, you're just pulling stuff out of nowhere. Uh, men and their men wives uh, were able to do. Shipwrights, my ancestors, the Nye family in New England, took, to, spent their whole life learning to make ships. I mean,. It's very reasonable, perhaps, to you that Noah had superpowers and was able. Oh, so this does some part after his, and also his superpowers. Don't be crazy, Bill and I. I mean, that's a blatant straw man of what he said. Able to build this extraordinary craft with seven family members, but to me, this just uh, not reasonable. So, I mean, I, 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 I don't was misleading.